Yeah, so some of the coaches I train with back home, uh, one's Mark Metzger. He's actually the skating coach of the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, he's helped develop my skating uh, from like speed, agility, um, everything over the past few years. Uh, I started working out with him um, in high school and over the past few years of college, and he has changed my game tremendously. I've also have trained with uh, high elite players such as Haley Scamara. She actually won a gold medal a few years ago and played at Northeastern throughout college. Um, a lot of OHL players I skate with boys all the time. Um, some high Division One players, Division Three, uh, kind of all over the board, but uh, they're competitive and it helps me get to that next level. Yeah, I'm really passionate about uh, hockey and what I do, so that's why I take the training so seriously. Um, over the summer, my trainer Ron Brissett, he has he's a di has a different style of the training. We do a lot of high reps, uh, fast reps, uh, so that's focusing on like power and explosiveness. Where a lot of people are more into the Olympic lifting and the heavy stuff. Um, so I think using the lighter loads is helped me be more explosive on the ice and has helped with my speed. So every time uh, we go in uh, to train, um, we train three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We start off with our conditioning and obviously it's something we never look forward to, but, uh, but when you look back at your summer and by the time you get to school, you're like, thank God I did this. Uh, you know, we get on the ice with Jeff, uh, our strength and conditioning coach here at school uh, twice a week and he skates us pretty good and um, it's good that I could be a leader out there and uh, push the younger kids to the level where they need to be at. Training with those elite players uh, definitely helps a lot. Um, a lot of the guys I train with and um, that gold medalist, Haley Scamara, I mean, their game's fast. So they push me every day to be faster, be more physical, and be more competitive on the ice. Um, I look up to Haley Scamara a lot. Uh, she, me and her are sometimes partners on the ice. so. I see her do something, I might try it out, I'll ask her for advice, um, and it's just helped me uh, improve my game. Conditioning is a huge part, especially to the season, only having five defensemen, um, and I think a big part of that comes in your off-season and preseason. Uh, we conditioned on the ice, off the ice, and I mean, we're logging a lot of minutes, there's times where you're on the ice, next thing you know there's a penalty, you gotta go back out for the power play, so those like 15, 20 second breaks um, is where the recovery time really kicks in. And that's what our main focus is over the summer. Like, let's get you to recover fast. So we do a lot of interval training, which you're 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, sometimes 20 on, 20 off. Uh, that stuff really helps that recovery and gets you to like just push through those minutes when you're tired. Yeah, with battling a few injuries, uh, especially my freshman year, um, towards the end of the year, I had an involution fracture in my collarbone right before playoffs. So that was something that I kind of just played through and got it checked out after the season. And my sophomore year, uh, I played half the season with a broken thumb. Thank God for Christmas break because that helped me heal up a little bit. Um, junior year, I was pretty, stayed pretty strong for the most part. And then senior year, I just uh, battled in a little bit of a wrist injury, but nothing too major. Um, but I think the biggest thing is is that training off the ice that I do over the summer helps me minimize those major injuries where like someone's breaking a leg, breaking an arm. I'm lucky enough that it's just a minor injury that I can kind of just play through. Yeah, there's been multiple times where you either get hit with a puck or get hit in the boards or you just take a shot and you're like down for a second. You're like, wow, that really hurt. But you get up, you realize, wow, like I'm actually okay. Like I'm fine. Um, I mean, luckily you just come out with a couple bruises and nothing too crazy, no broken bones, anything like that. So I think that's, that's huge, and that comes with that off-season training once again.